Fuck this shit. I, I always liked that. I thought that was cool. I was at home watching a, an old Discharge video. And uh, the idea, I saw a guitar player wearing one of the ideas, like, God, I should make one of those. Those are. I should start bring that back, you know. Uh, so I made I made this one, you know. This was just an old army shirt, um, and I saw wearing, man. It was, it was awesome. I didn't even know they were, uh, they had a name for it. I just found that out, you know. <laughs> just just a vest, you know. Um, I guess you got they, they call it uh, battle battle vest or battle jackets or whatever. But uh, yeah, just uh, it, <clears throat> it's cool. You just put your favorite bands. And a lot of it with the safety pins, so you can replace them. So, so this one used to have Doom on it. I probably took it out. I change it from time to time. So yeah, man, I'm holding in my hands the album where the name Sepultura was born. Uh, Motorhead, another perfect day. Back in those days, in the beginning, it was kind of like, it meant a lot for us to have, to have the vest because it was, we were trying to look as the European bands, mostly. Our influence was a lot of uh, um, creator destruction and um, Sodom and Hellhammer, Celtic Frost. You know, those are like our, kind of like our favorite bands that we listen to. And we knew them from the pictures, from the records. So we tried to kind of look uh, kind of like, like those guys, you know. In, in, uh, even the, uh, the, the bullet belts, because we couldn't buy those in Brazil. We made those with, with AA batteries. We made our own bullet belt, which is insane to think about it. You know, we had to collect the, the batteries and then super glue them. And then we tell the photographer, take the picture from far away. Don't come too close, you know. And uh, but it looks real. If you look at those old records, it looks like a real, yeah, a real uh, bullet belt, you know. So we did shit like that, you know, like the just, just so we look like our heroes. The, the general idea of the back of the back piece, it's, it's sometimes like it's an image that you like a lot, you know. So it's, 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 it's so it's center. And then in Germany, you got those crazy metalheads. They have like a thousand patches, you know? Um, and they have one in the middle, like their favorite one, and I've seen it beneath the remains in a couple of them, uh, or uh, Scream Bloody Gore. And then there's no room. It's not like this. It's all patched. <laughs> so this is a bit different. This is kind of, it's a different idea for, for this one. I think this is more punk. This style here is more punk. Uh, the ones that are full-on patches are, I guess, more heavy metal, like the heavy metal kids wear. So yeah, you know, this one is the second uh, vest I did. Um, this goes back to the Discharge album cover with the leather jacket. So it's got Discharge here and the Never Again symbol with the dove with the knife. It's all... Um, safety pins. And this one I actually took to a place to get embroidered. Um, I was set on some of the bands. You know, I, I, I got this motorhead in Europe. And then Venom, uh, the black metal. It's kind of like silverish. And then Chromax, another band I like a lot. Huge fan of uh, Age of Quarrel. When Age of Quarrel came out, to me changed my, my mentality of like, Yeah, you know, good legs. You know, you got your metal playing on a speaker. You know, you're sitting down there and you're just like working on the vest, making it cool, man. Making it look badass. So, so when you go play live, it looks awesome, it feels awesome. It gives you that metal power, you know.